So here are the answers to the practice for our solutions quiz number two tomorrow. First question is a parts per million question and it says there that we've got a 975 gram sample and it has 45.9 milligrams of calcium carbonate in it. So how is that in parts per million? Remember with our parts per million we need to compare solute to solution and they both have to be grams so that 45.9 milligrams first thing we need to do is change that to grams and that happens dividing by a thousand now that we have our grams of solute we can do the calculation comparing the solute over the 975 gram sample and that was right there in the problem and when you type that in your calculator and then multiply by a million since it's parts per million calculator spits out 47.0769 but of course we're good sig fig people and we can answer to three sig figs just like the measurements in the question so 47.1 ppm alright our next question here what is the molarity of a solution that has 5.25 moles of solute in 1650 milliliters of solution. So you see I've highlighted milliliters since molarity is moles per liter we have to change that milliliters to liters again dividing by a thousand. So now that we know we've got 1.65 liters and 5.25 moles we can put that into our calculator it'll spit out 3.181818 ad infinitum so using our three sig figs again found in the problem 3.18 capital M the label for molarity and good now the next page <clears throat> what is the molarity of a solution now that is made when we dissolve 280.35 grams of magnesium fluoride into water to make 542 milliliters of solution. Alright, so now we've got to change grams to moles and we've got to change milliliters to liters. So again, to do the liters we divide by a thousand, so we have 0.542 liters. And to go from grams to moles we need the molar mass so from the periodic table magnesium is 24.3 fluorine is 19.0 so 24.3 plus 19 plus 19 that's where I got 62.3 grams per mole so I take the 280.35 grams divided by my molar mass so I've got four and a half moles now I can do the moles per liter and when I take that and my calculator says 8.30258 three sig figs <clears throat> because of the 542 milliliters so 8.30 capital M next question if you need 4.20 liters of a three and a half molar solution of potassium bromide what mass of that potassium bromide are we going to need to get alright so what do we know <clears throat> we know that we have a 3.5 molar solution we know we have 4.2 liters of it we don't know how many moles of potassium bromide are in the solution which is what we want because moles along with the molar mass from the periodic table we'll figure out the grams so K is 39.1 BR is 79.9 add them together 119.0 and we'll use that in a moment so when I multiply <coughs> 3.5 times 4.20 I will get 14.7 moles alright and so that again 3.5 times 4.2 gives me the moles I multiply that by the periodic table molar mass and that's how I figure out 1750 grams three sig figs from the problem alright
right. Next, <clears throat> here we're doing a dilution. We have 18 molar sulfuric acid in stock, but I need 900 milliliters of a 3 molar sulfuric acid solution for the lab. How do I do this? And again, don't forget the sentence. So the math component is M1, V1, M2, V2. Again, M1 is always bigger than M2. 18 is the stock. V1 is what I'm looking for. How much of that do I need? And I want to dilute it down to 3 molar, and I need 900 milliliters of the 3 molar. So again, that's a check to make sure those two numbers are together in the equation. Multiply, divide by 18, solve for x, 150 milliliters. And that's great and fantastic, but again, how do you make this dilution? And so we need to include that lovely sentence. Take 150 milliliters, which we just solved for, of the 18 molar sulfuric acid and dilute it with 750 milliliters of water. Again, how did I get the 750? Well, the problem says I need 900 milliliters. 150 of it is the strong stuff. The rest, the 750, is water. And our last question, if an alcoholic beverage is 50 proof, then it is 25% alcohol, half of the proof. All right, good luck on that quiz tomorrow, and I'll see you then.